All right, guys, welcome back. This is the 99 ZRT Thundercat 1000cc. So, commonly referred to as the Thundercat. So, this sled came with a set of big wheel rear bogey, uh, rear axle bogey wheels. And one thing that they didn't do was and get the axle they just used the stock axle on this so as you can see it's it's in the same spot um, and what that what happens is you get part you get about three quarters of the wheel sticking down below the high fax and it's kind of hard to see now but um, let's see if I get the <laughs> not really well anyway you can see where the the wheel is it's uh, they're all sitting pretty far down so I wanted to fix that I wanted to leave the big wheel kit on there that's the way I got it call me crazy um, so I ended up finding the uh, company which was Avid products they got a new owner like I said before it's uh, Andy Upton and he hooked me up with a three-quarter inch offset axle and that's what I got here so as you can see what will happen is you'll separate these two you'll put them on the inside and it'll slip over this rail here and one of these pieces will be on either side and this will allow the wheels to be forward three quarters of an inch or well I would say they're forward probably an inch and a half and then they are up about three quarters of an inch higher that way the track will sit even with the high facts as you can see right now that when I push up on it those other 8 inch wheels are not allowing the sorry the uh, high facts there the rail slide to rest against the track or the track to rest against the rail slide so that's what we're gonna do today or right now at least um, got a few things going on so all right I already undid this side so I am gonna go to the other side and take that off and so I will need a couple tools here got our handy dandy 9 16 we got a 9 16 nut and a 9 16 head and the axle is already done so I believe that I already took the or broke loose that 9 16 over there so that might be the only thing that I might need to get so we'll go on to this side turn my light my up here oh well you're gonna be able to see this here looks kind of dark doesn't it I don't think it'll focus very well unless I get it up real close so this is what I'll be doing so this nut, this bolt right here is the adjuster nut and that's how you adjust track tension so you can see on this side the space should be sitting up a well when it's up in the air it'll be hanging but when you got it on the ground it should be sitting all the way This is pretty easy though. But this is how you adjust the track tension and the alignment. And the alignment is making sure that you have an even amount of track sticking out on either side of the bogey wheels, outside of the bogey wheels. And if it's on if it's more on one side, then that side's too loose. Okay, so we'll get this done. be able to put this in without pulling the track off but we're gonna give it a go folks so 
You got four of these wheels, two inners, two outers. Just put all this stuff back on the axle so it stays together. missing a space right here. Comes with all the hardware and everything. All right, so what do we get here? So it looks like this is gonna go on the other side. Just dropping everything today. I mean, I think the only way that I might be able to get away doing this. All right, so we gotta take out these spacers. Probably end up putting those on the axle as well. Good, these bearings sound fine. I want to get this. I want to get this, once I get this, I'm gonna fire it up. And she'll be done. I put new carburetors on. I prepared the air box. Um, I replaced a coil. because one was not working properly so it was it was cracking and popping crackling and popping and then I replaced that loud ass exhaust with stock exhaust so I don't go deaf and uh, well I'm gonna clean these up real quick and I'll be back Okay, so I ended up taking some uh, emery cloth here, 150 grit emery cloth, cleaned that up, uh, cleaned up the inside race on one of these, and I'm going to try and get them to slip on here. So that's that. Let's go over to the sled and see what we can do. Okay, so we're back over here at the sled. Let's see if uh, so I get these suckers in here.
guy cannot be serious. These don't even fit in there. These are both gonna have to be filed down. That's all right. Let me go get my tool. Here we go. Don't forget to wear your eye and ear protection, folks.
that's the way it's supposed to sit. Is that right? the way it should sit, folks. So now we're going to tighten up the other side. people it's on there the way it should be oh that's a beautiful sight so let's fire it up now that we got the uh, the new exhaust Calvin you want to want to operate the camera sure okay you can walk around and show whatever you want if you want mm -hmm. This is who the camera operator is. It's Calvin. All right. The higher you hold it, the steadier it'll be. Mm -hmm. Right here. Oh. Yeah, sorry. There. Okay, let's get all this stuff out of the way. And then double check. Make sure I got everything tidied up. We got the stock exhaust back on there, folks. We got the new uh, flat slide carb, supposed to be round slide. I still have to anchor this guy. That's the coil that I had to replace. Um, but other than that, stock exhaust, uh, let me make sure fuel's on. Let's make sure everything's good with the belt. It's facing the right way. That's on there, that. Okay. All right, I think we're good to go. Let's go ahead and fire it up. It's gonna be a lot quieter than it was the other day.
you go. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. Come here. Come here. <laughs> All right, guys. That's it. Thanks a lot. I just wanted to show you the uh, installation of that offset axle. It's kind of tough. I know I probably should have took the skid out and then assemble it and then put it back together, but you know what? Still did the trick. I think the only thing that I have left to do on this, um, other than just a few minor cosmetic things, is uh, there was some rattling going on when the track was spinning. And then when I spun the track up, when I spun the track up high enough, the track would flex out to where it wasn't hitting the high fax in the back. So I think I'm just gonna have to take that square, that square high fax and chop it off to where the track will clear it. So I think that's where the, the rattling is coming from. But other than that, this thing is ready to ride and um, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and prep it for storage and then put it away and it'll be good to go to ride in the winter, next winter. So pretty exciting. All right, guys, I got a lot more to go as far as projects. Um, I still have other sleds to fix. Um, I got a dirt bike to uh, rebuild the engine on. It's not a full rebuild. It's pretty much just a, um, it's pretty much just a, a new gasket kit that I got to put on it. So, all right, thanks a lot, guys. Thank you so much for all the support, and we'll see you in the next video. All right.